just don't want to tell him nobody. It's hard for me to tell him. No, I do. We're talking about crying in the workplace. Is it appropriate or is it just plain awkward? Our Fox viewer and VIP Danny, Tre Danny Trevino hits the streets to find out. Hey guys, it's Danny Trevino, your official Fox VIP, out here on the streets of Boston, asking people if it's okay to cry in the workplace. Crying at work, is this okay or...? It's okay if you're like 18. <laughs> Um, I guess in some cases it makes sense, but I, if it were me and I felt like crying, I would try as hard as I can to not show somebody I was crying. See, I would go hide if I had to cry. Uh, how about yeah. you? Yeah, that's exactly right. I would try to find the nearest bathroom or closet and hide in there. Yeah. Well, Diane Gotsman is with us. She is from the Protocol School of Texas, and she's talking about the do's and don'ts of crying. Now, we were talking about the J-Lo clip, and I take exception to this because if you actually, I mean, if you put it into context, the guy, uh, the contestant from El Paso, his fiance got in a horrible, I think, car accident right. or whatever, and she has uh, many obstacles now to overcome, and it was a very sad story, and he stuck with her, and he's going to take care of her, and uh, I don't know, I mean, I would even get teared up thinking about his story and what he's gone through and just what an amazing what amazing guy he is. And I think Jennifer Lopez showed emotion. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. think there was anything I wrong was with real. her crying. It was yeah. real, it was emotional, and it's an emotional situation. So, mm -hmm. kudos to her. Yeah, but there have been other situations, like even more public. Um, we've got uh, John Boehner, who we've seen cry in some of his uh, speeches uh, on the Hill. Some people would say, okay, a little over the top. Yeah, I mean, more than at work. It's too much. It's you too know, much. It's really, it's too much. And if a woman were doing this, and I'm sorry, it is what it is. I'm not trying to be sexist, but you know, women are, when they cry in the workplace, they're seen as weak. vulnerable and weak. Mm -hmm. That's All right. right. Well, let's, I, we have a graphic now I'm talking about uh, the do's and don'ts and some tips for men and women. I mean, deal with the situation professionally. So if something does get a little intense, and maybe it, it is your initial reaction to cry. How can we get, get around that? Well, we need to put it in perspective. Okay. So, you know, sometimes we want to cry at work. It's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. So we want to cry at work because we're mad at our husbands at home. So mm -hmm. focus on that situation. And if it's something still that you want to cry about, you are so angry, you want to cry, excuse yourself. You know, the girl said, I think I'd run to the bathroom. You right. know, that's a good, that's a good point. Right. You know, excuse yourself. I'm going to take a break. I'll I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll talk about okay, it. Okay, that's if your private life comes into your professional life. That's what you're talking about. Okay. Right. But even if our professional life, something happens in our professional life that upsets us, mm -hmm. it's very important to try and, you know, if you know something's coming up, if you know you're going to have a difficult conversation with someone and you're going to get frustrated, when we're overwhelmed, we tend to cry, right. some of us. Mm -hmm. So rehearse that in advance. Think of the outcomes before it actually happens, all the different scenarios, so you're ready. So when the time does come, you're already prepared with what you're going to say. You'll have more confidence and more power. You also say there's a difference between uh, tearing up and actually sobbing. Right. So, I mean, that, I mean, and you can see that, right? I Absolutely. Mean, yeah. And you can tell if you get a tear in your eye. And sometimes I was a, a fundraiser for a nonprofit years ago, and I worked with abused and abandoned children. And when I'm asking for money, I might tell a story, and I might get a slight tear in my eye. And you know what? It didn't hurt. But if you're sobbing and you're hunched over with, with tears, mm -hmm. there's a difference. So we want to show some emotion. I'm not saying that you should always be teary, but mm -hmm. a tear is different than a sob. And especially if you're sobbing, it might be uncomfortable for sure. you or the other person you're dealing with. It makes everyone uncomfortable yeah. and it changes the climate. What about valid reasons? I mean, again, going back to Jennifer Lopez, I think that, you know, that, that just showed real emotion. Sure. She gets Genuine. a break. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, valid reasons are, if goodness forbid, a colleague or a boss dies or there's a sudden tragedy, or even if you slam your hand in a door, uh, sometimes that is excruciating. If you shed a tear occasionally, that's one thing. Okay. But when you're doing it because you... you critiqued by your boss and you didn't like what they said, or your colleagues didn't invite you to lunch, or you're the, you're, <laughs> you weren't mentioned in the staff meeting as one of the people that worked on a project. You know, we have to, we have to look at this and say, okay, we're in a professional work environment. If we're unhappy with something, yeah. talk to your boss aside, but don't sit in a round table board meeting and cry. It's like the guy for the man on the street, he said, you know, we reserve that for 18 year olds yeah. because they don't have thick skin yet. That's right. And once you get into the profession, that's when you grow the thick skin. That's 
That's right. Shouldn't be crying. Diane, it's good to see you. Nice seeing you. Thanks so much for being with us, Zach.